Um, but at a heart and um, at the bottom, that's sort of the lowest, most stable point of the ship, uh, we have the what we call the saturation diving system. And um, you can see a few pictures of that. It looks a little bit like a, a space station, I suppose, but it's it's a it's a series of cylindrical metal tubes um all interlinked i think on there we have about six different ones two for living in uh, we have a sort of a decompression chamber uh, this is the um this is the diving bell which we'll come to in a minute which is effectively our, our taxi to and from work every day but what we do is uh, every day we we go through this oh, sorry the beginning of a trip we go through this door here uh, it is then closed behind us and the entire system is pressurized down to uh, an equivalent working depth so um if we're going to be working, for example, at uh, 100 meters, um, we'd probably pressurize the system down to about 90 meters. That means just putting that Heliox gas in um, continuously. It's a process that might take about an hour, an hour and a half, two hours perhaps to, to gradually bring the system down to that pressure. Um, and at that point, we, we, we settle down and begin to live within that environment. So we live under pressure. Uh, you sleep, you eat, you drink in that in that in that place, and uh, every single day that diving bell that you saw briefly there locks itself onto the top of this uh, system. Uh, as a team of three, we work in uh, the four teams of three normally living in there, so 12, 12 divers, uh, each team of three covering a six-hour period on the seabed. Um, so we uh, we climb up into the diving bell. We close uh, ours has a bottom door, so we close the bottom door. Um, and then the pressure is removed from beneath us, basically separating us from the system. Uh, the bell is then picked up, trolleyed across uh, and dropped down through a, um, uh, a moon pool. This is actually the bell coming coming back up. You can see here uh, the, um, the hub, the sort of the blue hub you can see in the middle there where you're going to see the bell locked onto. That's a passageway down to the system, which is below. But the diving bell then drops down to that 90 meters that we're pressurized to. Uh, and then when I open the door or any, any one of us opens the bottom door, because we've got an equivalence of pressure inside and out, the, the water doesn't come in, obviously. Um, and we've got a dry environment from which to prepare ourselves, put our diving helmets on. Um, we carry sort of big bailout emergency bottles on our back um, and we attach our umbilical. So that's um, well, I'll come to that in a minute. Umbilical is basically our, exactly what it sounds like, so our giver of life, really. 